We didn't have any personal leadership training historically before we engaged with LMI. We always had training for aspects of health and safety. We had aspects about how to, to deliver the products that we were delivering to the client, but we didn't have anything about the individual. As a smaller company, we've grown very steadily over, over a period of time. And as we've grown, we've retained a lot of people within the organisation. And as we got to the point where we needed to add new people in, we always thought we need to look from within because those people were here at the beginning and it would be wrong to go out to the marketplace. We were looking from above and thinking, who are the people who are going to eventually step up to the mark within the organisation? And we looked and we realised that they're very good at the delivery side, but then how are we going to help them in their succession to step up within the organisation in years to come? And we realised that we needed to develop the individuals and their skill sets and bring them into those leadership positions. I think I always go back to my school days on this. When you, when you, when you enjoy a subject, you look at it and think, why did I enjoy that subject? It's because of the person presenting that subject, the teacher at, at that time. Um, and I thought Carl would engage very well with the guys that we have here. Uh, they're project managers. Um, they, are sort of, uh, they work at quite a fast pace um, and they needed someone to engage with and I, when I saw Carl's presenting style, I realised that he would suit the team of people that we had. Project manager can be fairly challenging because they're used to challenging people within their day-to-day -day work environment about tr because they're trying to get jobs delivered. They won't always accept what they're being told because they need to make sure that an engineer delivers a job correctly. Uh, and so they will challenge Carl. And he said that to me when we've had some of our debriefs and he said, yeah, they can be challenging, but that's great. That's what I want from them. I want them to challenge. My concern was, would they all buy into it? Um, because if you ask any of the project managers, they thought, oh, well, I don't need that. I'm, I'm fine with how I'm, how I'm managing my own time. They all bought into it after the first session. And at the end of uh, the six weeks, they then have to make a video and present the video to the directors. And the content and the quality of the videos were absolutely excellent. In fact, it blew the three directors away, the amount of time and effort that they put into it and what they gave back in the videos and how they thanked the company for allowing them to go through this process and what they gained from it. Um, it, it was good for the directors to sit there and uh, see that they got so much from it. The reactive nature of our work really made it difficult for the guys to manage the hours within the day that they had. And I think that the, what we've achieved now is that they're very much more focused on the structure of their day and even though they do receive calls throughout the day, which can be an inconvenience during the working day, they now know how to manage that. Whereas before, they would have dropped what they were doing or they would have gone into another area of work and not picked up on where they were. They now look at the day, they set their day out with their planner and they know exactly what they need to do. One of the good things that they've also understood is that save questions up. Save questions up until a time when they have four or five questions to ask rather than continually going to people and asking questions throughout the day. Um, and that's something that's made a big difference. The course suited our business, and that was very important, because we are so busy. If I was to send people away for five days on a course, sure. it just wouldn't work. So ideally to have the two hours on a Thursday morning where the group come together, and then they have the tasks to go away and complete their work in the two weeks, and then come back again, it was perfect. From 12 modules, we chose six that we thought would suit our uh, project managers. And also because of the nature of our business, we're very reactive and we're always taking phone calls, uh, faults that are coming up on networks. And so to try and get the modules completed on a weekly basis uh, seemed a bit too tight for us. So we looked at it and we decided that let's do it every fortnight. It gives us a bit more flexibility with the amount of work the guys have to do as well. And that's worked out really well. That was a good decision that we made at the front end. I think it covered both. I think we needed to ensure that we maximise their productivity within the day, but also to make them more confident in themselves as leaders, not just in the working life, but in their home life as well. And a lot, a lot of them have transferred it, not just in the working hours here, but across everything that they do. Two of the guys who did the course especially came back and said, it made such a difference to my weekend. Well, my wife and I now say, right, this is what we're going to do for the weekend. And we roughly plan out what we're going to do. And so it's great that they can take something away and it adds quality to their personal life as well because work-life balance is very important. I think the programme 
would work for any business. Um, the, the line of business we're in, it, it, that's what, as I was explaining earlier, we've been through the process of undertaking health and safety, we've introduced the process of undertaking understanding the products that we deliver, but this is about the person. And so I think it will transfer into any business and develop that person and allow that person to become a much better leader and a much better manager of their own time.